Okay, let's take a look at the video object action examples. From our gallery here, I'm going to dra drag a copy of this Magnolia video onto our stage. And then I'm going to just center that on the stage. Now, if you remember, I was mentioning that there's a series of actions for the video object that we've already looked at through other objects, okay? So basically, those actions, such as the transport actions that we looked at in the flash object tutorials, you can review from looking back at those tutorials or um, start a new project using the video player template and it's great it's got all those actions in place and you can click on the buttons and take a look but what we'll do for this tutorial is we'll look at the actions that are unique to the video object so that is to say the ones that we won't look at otherwise or we haven't seen so far okay so let's go ahead and double click on our page here and we'll look in the actions panel and click on add action to see what I mean so we've got the video category selected here. As you can see there's a variety of actions that we've already looked at through other objects but there's a few that we haven't and those would be get current position, get length, as well as the full screen options. Okay, So we'll go ahead and press cancel to get out of here and we're going to create some labels to handle these so they'll act like little buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and create my first label. I'm going to call it get length. Press OK. Now I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this, and I'm going to call this one Get Position. Now I'm going to duplicate that once more using Control D and call this one Full Screen. Okay, so I'll just move my video up a bit here, actually and we'll lay these out. I'm going to just quickly align these so they'll look a little bit neater. And there we go. Okay, let's add our actions. So we'll click on this Get Length button. We'll double click it. And in the Actions panel, in the On Click tab, we'll select the Add Action button. And we'll select the Video Get Length Action. Okay, I'm going to double click that. As you'll see, it it uh, stores it by default in a variable called result. So we'll copy that to our clipboard. So it's selecting our video object here by default because it's the only one on the page. If there was more than one, you would select it from the pull down here. So it's taking and it's getting the length of the video in seconds and putting it in this variable called result, which we can then display in a message box. So I'll go ahead and type that in manually. There we go. So it's going to display a message box with the title saying length and then giving us the result of that variable. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK and we'll double click on the Get Possession label now. In the Actions panel, we'll click on the Add Action button again. This time we'll choose the Video Get Current Position action and double click on that. And again, we're presented with the same situation. So we've got the same variable name. For now, we'll just use that. Normally, I would change it, but for a demo, it's, this is fine. So we'll go ahead and press Finish. Then we're going to add another dialog message box here. Okay, so I'm just typing that in real quick. And this time, I'm going to change the title to, say, Position. Okay, there we go. So it's going to display our position in a dialog. And finally, we've got the full screen label. So we'll double click that, and in the Actions panel, we'll click on the Add Action button and choose the Video Set Full Screen option and make sure it's set to True. Okay? So we've got our video object selected here, and we've got the full screen option set to True. Okay? I'm going to press Finish and OK, and we'll press F5 to preview our project. Okay, as you see, we've got our video playing here. If I press Full Screen, You'll see it goes completely full screen. I'm going to press the escape key to get out of full screen. And now I'm going to press play again to get it started. And at about the five second mark, I'm going to press the get position label. And as you'll see here, it displayed that information in a dialog here. 5.28 seconds, so it's very accurate. That's about exactly where I clicked it. And we'll click finally on the get length label here. As you can see, it gives us the length of our video, which is 11.25 seconds. 
So that demonstrates these actions. These are the ones that are unique to the video object that we haven't looked at yet. And you can see how they work. It's pretty simple stuff. You're getting the length of your video, the current position of the playhead within your video, as well you can set the full screen option. So it's pretty simple stuff. And uh, it should be self-explanatory from, from here. And just to review, if you'd like to take a look at the transport action examples, go to File, New. I'm not going to save my changes there and choose this video player template here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start a project called video template and I've clicked on the video player template here and then I'll click on create project now and you'll see it's already built for you. It's got buttons and if you click on these buttons, so if I'll double click on the stop button, you'll see that this action's in place here ready to go that you can go ahead and check out. They've got comments in place and so forth. For example here it explains it quite clearly that it's telling the video to stop first using a video stop action and then it's using a button set text action to toggle the play button between play and pause and so forth. So go ahead and, and uh, check out this video player template and fool around with it a bit and check out the actions on these buttons and it'll probably explain quite a bit. So let's go ahead and move on to the next object now.